The first installment of the sixth assessment report of IPCC was released in August 2021, dealing with the physical science basis of climate change. Then, the second report was released in February this year, on which I've made a five minute summary, so do check it out. And now, finally, we have the third installment on mitigation of climate change, a very important topic. With our current rates of emissions, it is estimated that we will reach the temperature of around 3 degrees Celsius by 2050, not 1.5 degrees. To achieve net zero by 2050, the world has to reduce 48% of all our annual greenhouse gas emissions already before the year 2030, which seems highly unlikely if you ask me. So we must strive to reach net zero by the third quarter of this century. And there is hope. Replacing fossil fuels with renewable energy is possible now more than ever before as the prices of renewable energy have drastically declined in the last two decades. The cost of solar energy and lithium-ion batteries have dropped by 85% and wind energy by 55% and as a result we are seeing them being implemented more and more day by day. The report also contains a list of all the sustainable solutions and how cost-effective each alternative can be. It turns out that solar and wind energy not only have a huge decarbonizing potential, but also save us a lot of money. On the other hand, technologies such as CSS or carbon capture and storage or carbon capture and sequestration, however you want to call it, essentially the process of artificially capturing CO2 before it escapes into the atmosphere in order to store it underground for centuries to come. is a very hit or miss option to rely on to combat climate change because the technology that we have at this point of time is very inefficient and it costs a lot of money. In fact, according to the report, it is the most expensive alternative with relatively low potential. We do need ways of CDR though, which is carbon dioxide removal through both natural and artificial ways to achieve net zero as quickly as possible. But what this report emphasizes on is the fact that greenhouse gas reduction is far more effective than greenhouse gas removal. Fossil fuels must phase out and alternatives such as solar and wind energy, green engineering and electrification of vehicles are crucial. The report also highlights the fact that there is very little that individuals can do. These sustainable changes can be bought by policy makers, especially from those belonging to energy sectors. Policy, as always in history, proved to be remarkably successful whenever implemented to bring sustainable change. Only real issue is that we need more of them and fast. Frankly, as far as my opinions are concerned, the three IPCC report highlight nothing new because IPCC does not conduct its own research. It provides information based on existing researches about climate change. By now, it is already pretty obvious to all of us that we have to stop burning fossil fuels and replace them with sustainable methods of renewable energy if we want to stop the Earth from getting any warmer. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel to let me know. And I will see you in the next video.